Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Belial, um, just because I have not really been playing that thing uh, after the Quirk Pass and I wanted to try it. I have been seeing this build flying around for a long time and today it is time to bring it to the battlefield. Now what are we talking about? First of all, Belial, if you don't know, it's the Uziel hero mech. Not a legendary, it's a hero. But um, yeah, it has some very interesting quirks and a good chunk of interesting hard points to go with it. Now, as you can see, we are running four light PPCs, two on each arm and then one MRM-10 on each side torso, as well as two tons of ammo, a bit of cooling, two jump jets and an XL engine 255, getting us to 82 kph. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot of special things. However, the quirks make this thing extremely good. We have the PPC cooldown quirk of 10%, a missile cooldown quirk of 10%, and then a ranged quirk of 10%, velocity 20%. We also have a light PPC heat generation, Oh, light PPC slash plasma cannon heat generation quirk of negative 10%. All right, the quirks are already there, although we don't have the weapons yet. Interesting. And a uh, heat scale limit bonus of plus one means we can fire all of the four light PPCs at the same time without getting any ghost heat. Also, 260% MRM velocity, which means our MRMs fly just as fast as our PPC projectiles. And that's nice because we have a very mobile mag that we can use to jump up, shoot once, get back to cover, reposition, rinse and repeat, get a lot of damage out and kill everybody. Almost. So it's it's very nice to be able to um, yeah just have the projectiles align in their velocity so we don't really have to worry about leading our shots correctly. We just basically aim at the target and then we hit most of the time hopefully got a bit of extra armor here but that's not really the point um but yeah it's a very fun mech to play heat management is okay i would say um and yes we have only two tons of ammo one for each missile launcher i think what really shines here is the quad light ppc setup now let's take a look at the skills before we dive in as you can see i went for not all the cooldown because again the mech is somewhat toasty and therefore you are kind of uh, bottlenecked at your at your heat capacity and then cooldown doesn't matter anymore because you cannot really shoot because you're hot what i wanted more is a heat gen more velocity all of these missile nodes as well as skeletal density and armor hardening for a bit of defense i wanted to get lift speed and heat shielding because i wanted to be able to jump around with this guy a lot and this is basically extra heat management so uh, that i can utilize my jump jets more often we also got cool run and heat containment Obvious reasons. Again, it's a toasty boy with all of these PPCs. And then Seismic Sensor, which I think, after playing a bunch of games, you don't need any... You don't need necessarily, I would say. So I would probably dump them into actual cooldown at that point. And that's my alarm going off for a pizza. Um, we also have Radar Deprivation going, as well as Double Cool Shot Plus, a UAV today. And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming today. And if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to get my pizza now and you are getting into the games. Let's go. Alrighty, guys, a first game of the day. We are playing the Termaline Desert. We are playing Domination. Let's get into the circle, probably into Echo 6 and see what we can do there. We have 600 meters roundabout. This is uh, our optimal range. Ah, we didn't hit that guy. And even if, we wouldn't have dealt any damage. It was just target practice. Um, yeah, let's move more to the right side, I would say. Stormcrow, it's... Mm, Stormcrow is certainly hittable. If we hit him, obviously. But if not, then not. You want to stay on him? I need to really get that velocity straight. Uh, this is kind of the first run that I'm doing and I didn't go to the testing grounds. Oh, a bunch of people here. See, again, this velocity is crazy. All right, we hit once. Yeah, we can just aim and shoot. Easy. All right, good. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, we should also shoot our missiles. Because Victor is in range. <laughs> oh my god. Try again. Heat level critical, but I don't care. Okay, 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 okay. That Gauss rifle is about to pop. And we hit it again. Did we get the crit? I kind of hope so. That was good. That was good damage. So where did we get hit from here? There was something shooting us. Ah, uh, this is taken. So we jump. Fall. It's the victor again. I don't know if we got just hit or not. There was a shake, but it didn't really feel like we got hit by a heavy gauss. All right, let's stay in motion. Let's stay aggressive. Yeah, we got one heavy gauss down already. 
really good. What are you? Okay, good hit on the leg. That must have hurt. Uh, so they are, they are watching this side. But I think it's still good to peek. It's still good to peek. Okay, triple kill. <laughs> All right, let's go for... Uh-oh, not this. No, no, no. Don't want to go any further than that. Nice kill. Actually, I do. Hi, friend. Oh, oh, actually? No. No. I want to hide behind the big boy. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know my arms are wide. Wide open. Um, Delta 5, you say? Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh, I like the velocity of this. I think I'm getting the hang of it. So, you need assistance down here. I messed up. I messed up my jump completely. There's one guy behind us, but I don't really care. I want to know what's going on down here. Are you really in distress? You are. Got an Orion, huh? Santa Torso, if possible. Why is he so slow? Why was the Orion so slow? All right. We still have some uh, light mechs going on. Yeah, man. Uh, do we go for a shadow cat, for the howl, for... Wh what's our target? Like, what are we trying to get done here? I think we want to hunt down the cat. It's an ATM cat. Uh, got some uh, ECM as well. 600 meters. This is our distance. I'm getting shot in the back. We saw a hunchback earlier. That might have been him. Okay. Left or right? Uh, we're gonna stay on the howl. Ah, again! Again! I'm sorry! He just pushed in front of me. This is fun! Ah, he's legged now. Good. Down he goes. So, light mech here. The flea is leg. I, again, I got hit. Never mind. People are here still. I got hit in the back, I wanted to say. So, let's go ahead and... What a weird game. Everybody is... Seemingly a bit... Uh oh, clueless. I can't take that. We have armor still. It's fine. We got the kill. Oh, this is so good. It feels rewarding. So, again, I got hit in the back at some point. Mm, the mislinks is ER large lasers. I got hit by a gauss, so I believe Echo 4. Echo 4, there is a guy. Uh, it is the hunchback with the gauss. It's the gridiron. See? See? Battlefield awareness still works. Ah, not like this. <laughs> All right. Leia, let's go in and brawl with the guy. I think we can do it, since we also got a lot of friends here. That's a brawl, right? One shot kill. Mech OP. Please nerf. Ah, he was so damaged already. The Mistlings is killing himself by lagging. We're gonna try to help out a bit. Again. And down he goes. Yeah! Belial, everybody. Belial. Mobile? Good DPS. Getting a bit toasty at times, but if you have some cooldown periods. You're ready to go. So, let me take a look at the end score here. Probably 50 damage team damage, maybe? Oh, 32 only. All right, it's fine. So we got three killing blows. We got eight assists. We got one KMDD with about 600 damage done. The game wasn't even long enough to farm damage. Yeah, look at this. 633, 570. We got 633 again. Uh, 581 with me here. I like games like these, where like everybody is doing their, their part and everybody's having a good time on the battlefield. That was the first round. I mean, except for the enemies. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, guys, second game of the day. We are playing the Vitric Forge. We are playing Skirmish. All right, let's get the high ground. I would say it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to get some damage out. I think the fight is going to happen at about 600 meters there. Uh, there's a guy looking at us already. We're going to look at him. I don't know if we hit him or not, but I just wanted to make a statement that we are ready to counter attack. There's a guy again. I'm a little late to the party with my reaction. Way too high. <laughs> okay, but again, these are just snapshots. It's it's gonna be alright. That's an actual hit. There is definitely more. I think I'm gonna go with heat vision here. I really do not like the regular vision of this map. We are in 600 meters, so this is where we're gonna try to get all of the damage out. And yeah, basically, basically doing, well, basically doing that. My jump jets help me here, big time. Okay, I'm gonna try a thing. 
Can we go around here and get an angle? We can. We can totally do that. It takes a little bit of our leg damage. Or leg armor. But I think... I think we're fine here. There was another guy jumping. Let's get high again. Uh, I mean, let's get up the high ground again. Don't do drugs, everybody. They're bad for you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Huh? Jumpy people? Uh oh Are you going for... Yeah, you're totally going for me. Lots of missiles, ATMs. Yeah, it's fine. Eh, this is not fine. We need to get dominance over the center in order to make something happen. There's still a guy back there. Ow. Okay. Okay, so we got that. That's good. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to get the other guy who is still fighting here out of the way. I'm stuck. Whoa. Not good. I couldn't distinguish between friend and foe. Okay, so this guy is down. We go for you. Then we are hopefully not getting hit in the back by this Fafnir. Cool shot. Want to shoot again? Get that side torso off. I'm gonna drop. Nah, 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 nah. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. Fafnir should be halved by now. Jump. Very important. Try to get another angle. They have so many UAVs here. It's kind of crazy. But I like that we have the dominance on the high ground. What are we doing with it, though? Not a lot, to be honest. Okay. Here's the blackjack. My reaction time is so slow right now. Okay. Cannot hit him from here. Don't want to drop. I do not want to drop. It's important to me. New target acquired. Come to play, little boy. It's an Irby. Okay. Jumping around once more. Um, we are getting hit by something. And that is not okay. Alright, let's... Um, where to go? Oh, you are here as well. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so the, the awesome needs to go. So we're gonna... Did we hit? We're gonna try. At the very least. Okay. Nice. Not nice. All right. Now we got to fight ourselves out of this. And that is killing the awesome. Yeah, not aware. All right. Awesome down. Execute the executioner. Heat level is critical. All right. We got him. Now turn around. Go for these guys. Ah, it's a hag. The hag cat from earlier. Uh, we did get the kill on the Timby randomly. Wow. The Fafnir, by the way, is not dead yet. At the very least, it doesn't feel like it. Or we might get killed here. Yeah. Something is still on me. And again, I don't know what it is. My my battlefield awareness is not the best right now. We want to try to push the Shadow Cat. I mean, it's 7 and 3. So we should be fine. Shadow Cat is somewhere here. Pushing between is not a good idea. But hey, the Banshee is now aware of our position. Okay, expulses. He might actually get me. I need to be careful. And do some hit and run stuff. Take the side. Almost. Alright. Up the high ground. Yeah, we're gonna kill this now. Great. So, that's the Shadow Cat from earlier. He is already spotted. We are 9 and 3. It is looking very, very good, to be honest. Uh, let me see if we can get an angle on him. He's disengaging completely. But there's a gap somewhere. Let's go around here. Maybe we can do some nice hammer and anvil tactics. He might be up... No, he's not on the high ground. But he's might, he might get driven towards us. This is our friend. Is he pushing through? Or running away? Uh, running away. Okay, good. So we're gonna go over here. There he is. I, I think... I think we're gonna get him now. There's a guy behind us, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he got me. Should have twisted the other way around. It was just a muscle memory, just instant reaction to do something because I knew that I was damaged. And then I chose the wrong side. Good shot there. Gotta give him that. Man, we dealt 800 damage. This is a good mag, man. In the hands of a good pilot. Uh, I'm not gonna break it, but you know. I say in general, if you are comfortable with this kind of gameplay, this thing is great. I don't know why I was sleeping on it so long. There we go. We got him in the end. Cool. GG, everybody. That was fun. The Belial. The Uziel hero. No, 
legendary mech um, with a quad PPC and double MRM10 loadout. Very it's well, it's good. Thank you, man. Uh, we got three killing blows, eight assists, 842 damage done with five components destroyed. Guys, that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. It really helps me out a ton. And subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.